Hello. To add options to your products, there's a variety of ways you can do it. First way is if you go into the actual product itself, click on options, new option. Uh, this one looks like you've already managed it, so gold, purple, and red. Basically, put in whatever you want it to be. And if you want a second option, So now if we view this product, it will have drop-downs for color and power. And it doesn't matter which one they choose, it's all the same product here. The second way to do it is to take all of the products that you have already and add in options for them via an upload. If you create a, well, there's this sheet here. Uh, it starts with the SKU, and then what option you want to have, a uh, bunch of different codes that you can just leave as is for no changes, and then at the end it's what are the options in this option set. So for color is the name of the set of options, and then red, blue, green, and purple are all the options in that color, the choices for this option. So I've already uploaded 000, that's the G1. If we look at the options there, there's the colors that were created just by using the normal option, but then this one here, color in lowercase, this one I imported. So if you want to update all of your products just adding in the options, you would basically copy this and then add in, uh, change the SKU to match your existing products and you can update all of your products with the right option sets, so color and power, both. The third way is more labor intensive, but if you want to keep track of your inventory, there's an option for a combination. So if this product is available in uh, two colors and two powers, then we would need basically four products for it. So we would set a color for, for pink, and number one, uh, we'll pretend this one doesn't exist. And we can limit this to say 10, if you have 10 pink number ones. Ah, but you do have to make a new SKU for each of these. So if we do red, number one, red, we'll have only say five of these. So now there's a stock option for red power number ones. And when someone buys this particular one, this stock will drop down to four. If you don't use it this way, then if you're using stock over here, this just manages any G001. So you can either manage the stock and put in a bunch of combinations, and, and it's a lot more work, but you'll be able to keep up with your inventory. Or if you just want to add the options to each product that you have, then doing the import is going to be the best option to update all of the products quickly. Going over how to make the import file, uh, basically you, you'll copy this section and this section since you want to do color and power for every item, and then paste them down below. Then you want to change this here, this is the SKU number, so I've got to open a second file that is all the current products that exist, and right here in quotes is the SKU, so I can replace this. So now this one is going to update product S0000 with color options, color of red, 
blue, green, and purple. And this one's doing 001 with red, blue, green, and purple. Now, say 001 doesn't come in purple, it only comes red, green, and blue. I could just delete that line. And then instead of green, let's say it comes in uh, yellow. Now down here, this is SKU, and this is the options for power. And I've got negative 1, negative 2, plus 1, plus 2. You can always change it to 2.5, or 1.5. And if you need more options, just copy the whole line, paste it below. So now for power, we've got negative 1, negative 2, plus 1.5. Uh, I could order these better, so why don't I do that? Negative 1.5, negative 2, negative 2.5, this would be plus 1, plus 1.5, plus 2. 2.5. Alright, so now power is going to be 1, and those are all the options for product 0001. Then I would just keep going on down the list. So let's copy this again. And now go to the next SKU. And it has all the same options as number one does, so I'm just going to leave that the same. Now if I save this, go over to Equid. Since I changed 003 to have some options, right now we've got just the one that's already here for gold, purple, and red. Now if I go back to Products, Import, sure I'm choosing the file I just saved. Click import. And now it shows that it has been imported. So if I go to 003, minus options, here we've got the color and power that I just added in. So all the colors, and there's the powers. And if we go to 001, its powers, exact same as number 3 was, and if I go to number 2, which is the one that I changed, so this one's got red, blue, and yellow, because remember here we changed it to red, blue, and yellow, instead of the same 4, and you'll also have the powers in that order.